Hi there, everyone. Mike Brown again with you. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In the last two lessons, we've discussed layers, adjustment layers, masks, and masks relationship to alpha channels and showed you how they all interact and work. In this lesson, this is going to take all of those pieces and put them together, and we're going to retouch an image for exposure and color using layers, adjustment layers, and masks, and the alpha channels, all the pieces, from start to finish, utilizing only a single selection. This is how to think and do things efficiently a different way, and I'm going to show you a trick that is not in the textbooks anywhere that can really change how efficiently you work. So let's get started. Sit back and enjoy this one and follow along. Okay, here's an image. I'm going to change the screen mode. Letter F, hand tool, move it over. Zoom it up just a little so you can see it. We'll keep the layers panel here and we'll keep the channels panel out. So first off, as I do as we've been going along, we'll look at this image and see what needs to be done. Our sky is overexposed, the ocean is overexposed, the landmass is too dark, the beach area has no pop, and the foreground, the colors are okay. It's a little yellow-red, but that's sunset view. You get that. You get that kind of yellow haze, but it doesn't snap much. So the way I look at it, the sky is one, the ocean is two, the cove is three, the bluff is four, and the foreground landmass is five different areas that we need to attack to get this image done. Normally you would say, oh gee, that's five selections. Not. We're going to do one selection and modify that selection via masks as we go along to create new selections from the original very easily. Watch. And I'm going to show you an unbelievable trick that turns your masks into just like quick mask. We've been looking at the masks in black and white, and now we can see them as a transparent overlay. This is the trick that's not in the books. So let's get started. Okay, first off, we need to make a major selection. We have sky, sea, all the way up into the cove. So let's go ahead and make a selection of that. I'm going to default the foreground background here. Quick selection tool, increase the brush just a little bit, and we'll just run it through the ocean, down into the cove, and there it's cooking. So let's quick mask now. Q or the quick mask icon. Zoom it up, take a look. We can see already that it's going to have to be feathered. You can see how harsh it is, but we're looking around. Let me change the opacity back a little bit because I want to see through it just a little bit more. There, that's better. This way I can see where the ocean is. We're going to paint, and what we do is white paints away. X flips them. We're going to make a smaller brush here, left bracket key to make it smaller. And I'm just going to paint down in here until I get into that foam area. And I think that's ocean. Yes, it is. Okay. That's pretty close. A couple of rocks there, but not a problem. Let's quickly follow our way around. Just paint a little of that foam out. Those are good. It's pretty close. Making the at transition edge here. We just put some feather in it, but I'm not too concerned about the rocks getting darker or the foam getting brighter. That will match in there just fine anyway. Uh, let me, those rocks are a little too dark. Put those back in. Down here is a little foam there. Let's paint that out. We'll just go ahead and do this one here. That one there. I do see that we need to paint in the island. So let's make sure we're painting in black. And we'll just go ahead and quickly paint the rocks, try to leave that water alone that's in the center there. That looks pretty close. Rock, rock, rock. Close enough. Anything else of consequence? Nope. We're looking pretty good. Right there should be white. Okay. Out of quick mask. 
go to the select menu save selection we're going to call it sky and ocean now we have our basic selection let's zoom out deselect and let's take a look at the channels come on there we go my pen tool is very sensitive today so we'll click on that and there you see the sky and the ocean I see I forgot to do one thing I didn't feather the edge let's go ahead and select it let's get a highlight on a any selection tool go to refine edge I'm gonna feather it too click OK and I'm going to save that selection over the original because it's the same selection with a softer edge. Select, save selection, not new, save it over the sky and ocean, and you'll notice that as we zoom it up, we've got our nice little soft edge. Okay, we're good. Now let's go back to RGB. So, what's the first thing we do with our image? I should have done it at the very beginning. Thank you. Duplicate the background. Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, plus the letter J for the shortcut, or duplicate layer here on the Layers dropdown, or over here. Now we have that. So, the first thing I want to do is take the order. I need the sky to come down. I need the ocean to come down. I need to snap the cove, but I don't want to make it come down anymore. And we have a full selection of